So today I just started. Uh, didn't manage to do yoga this morning, but hopefully I will do some in the afternoon when I arrive to my next point. And yeah, it's um, it's a beautiful day. And oh my God, I'm so refreshed now. I'm so thankful for the hotel yesterday. It was a blessing, truly. Villa de Arcos, like the people were amazing. I also had a great dinner and I met amazing people who had already done the Camino, so also got a lot of tips. And oh my God, I'm so blessed <laughs> because I had this big, my first blister. And actually I did have some stuff to treat it, but apparently there's a specific way to treat it so that you can continue walking. And thank God there was this Australian couple who had a whole kid uh, who, and they are also doing the Camino. So um, they explained me and they gave me some tips and tools uh, to do it so very happy about that so i can keep on walking and yeah, see you later So I decided to make a little stop just here in the middle of nowhere um, behind the cornfields just a nice space to sit and yeah I also some of my clothes didn't dry so I was carrying them like hanging them on my backpack but they were mostly dry by now so I stopped also to put them inside um, and to drink some water just to sit for a little moment and yeah it's beautiful but definitely it's hot so i should be starting earlier <laughs> okay so i finally left the bc route i am more or less like 6.5 or well let's say 7 kilometers to Barcelos and there is an alternative route where you can take that it's actually supposedly more beautiful but you also have a mountain and it's and it's around the detour it's like 4.2 kilometers so I chose not to take it this time um, because I mean you have beautiful paths like this like I am in the woods already and yes I had to go to the route for a little while but it was okay and I also needed to stop to the pharmacy to buy some stuff for the blisters, but all good. And I must say, it really smells amazing. And the sound of, you know, the leaves, probably you can hear it with the wind, it feels very nice. Oh, but the, the thing is like, the days are hot. So unlike other days where I was stopping for lunch to have a nice long lunch and then go back, I'm just continuing straight today. I stopped in the morning for breakfast. Uh, I had the breakfast from the hotel uh, packed, a packed lunch, and I just stopped for a coffee and had it there. So just continue, and maybe depending how I feel, I will stop in Barcelinos and we'll stay there, or maybe I do go to Barcelos. We'll see, stay tuned. So I did decide to stop, to stop for lunch. <laughs> um, yeah, it's still sunny and hot, but it's okay, I only have around more or less like five kilometers left today to reach the next uh, stop. I was planning to go for the albergue, but then just to be sure, I checked out the website and it said that you need to have your own sleeping bag because they don't have any bed sheets. So I don't have a sleeping bag. Therefore, <laughs> and, uh, I booked uh, another hostel. So. Yeah, had pretty good comments. And as you can see there, it's a road, even though it's all cobbles, 
<laughs> and oh my god, there's so many cobbles in Portugal. Like they look beautiful, but they're not the most easy going for walking. Um, but I must say the natural paths, I love them. Like when you go through the woods, and I apparently I learned today that the eucalyptus is not great because it's not a nat natural from here. So it's kind of like an invader for the local flora. Um, but it smells amazing. <laughs> amazing and anyway uh catch up later when i arrive to my destination hey hey so almost there i'm arriving to barcelinos then i'll cross a bridge and i'll get to the hostel where I'm staying in Barcelos and yeah I had a very nice lunch and I must say for the first time ever I understand whenever they say um, like farmers uh, breakfast or farmers lunch where, where it's a bunch of carbs <laughs> well yeah it feels great <laughs> I must say and also um, I don't know I think many women many women uh, struggle with this but sometimes well many times i think i feel a little guilty whenever i eat too much carbs but i must say during this trip i couldn't care less like um it just feels very good because of course your body needs fuel and yeah so anyway almost there that's it So I made it to Barcelona, yay! And I must say this is the first time I book a private hostel or a private albergue, and it's pretty nice. Like you can put a curtain on the bed, and you have like a like kind of like a locker uh, um, thing <laughs> to put your backpack and everything. And it's very like a very new building and very nice. Uh, oh, but I'm so happy to be here. And um, yeah. So that was it for today uh, and see you tomorrow.